Hello everybody, Jürgen here from Engineered Affiliate Hacks for Entrepreneur. Thank you so much for being with us. In today's video we will be laying the ground for some basic foundational stuff that you need to know for and foremost before you even touch a funnel builder or you try to learn anything else. <coughs> I'm sorry. What we will be talking about today is basically the foundation that took me nearly four years just to put these elements all together in an organized manner that's how you can build a better perspective once you decide to start building either a funnel or building campaign or anything of that matter so before we dive in we need to understand the environments that we live in and why what we do is important as uh, Barack Obama, President Barack Obama says in one of his speech he says quote the next wave of economic dislocations will come from the relentless pace of automation that makes a lot of good middle class jobs obsolete. And quote, end of quote. So this uh, in camp, this resume and uh, uh, really sums up uh, the, the situation where we live in and how everything is moving towards. Uh, 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 digital and machinery and so on and so forth so it is very important for anybody who's above 30 years and up who didn't happen to take uh, the digital uh, as uh, a prerequisite in his learning process in school or any otherwise to start uh, thinking about it and and, and doing it because that's where everything is happening and you don't need me to say that so let's dive right into it the name of the of the class it's the called the prerequisite uh, from the fundamentals of digital marketing why is the I decided to make a, a video about that it's simple is because uh, there is no shortage of information out there it is absolutely there is we are overwhelmed with information and you you just google anything and you have a million of information the problem now is that how are you gonna make sense of all that information how are you gonna organize it because the mind can take only so much information not only can it take only so much information but it needs the mind in order to process well it needs to have uh, information that is organized and makes sense once he the mind receives information in that way, then it starts becoming able to make sense of it and start implementing, implementing it. That's the idea. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. Before we understand anything, before we talk about anything in digital marketing, we need to understand that the, the, the move of the purchase and of people from buying, uh, going physical to online has completely shifted and transformed the way we do business. Now, the business is done through internet and uh, there is some psychological triggers that are related with this that allow us to make more sense of the cell and, and, uh, and make better sell once we use this element and once we respect and we are aware of all these elements. So before we talk about anything, let's talk about the nature of any market. Based on a, uh, a marketer named Sabri Subi, he's an Australian marketer, amazing. He came up with this pyramid and describes the distribution of any market. So he says that the, on the top, the 3% of any market, any industry that you go, in any market you go, there's always 3% of people that are already buyers and that's, they, are, they are already uh, aware of the problem, aware of the solution, aware of everything and they are, you don't need to let them know about your products because they know already, they are already buyers. The second uh, tier is the 70%, they are in an information gathering mode, they are aware of the problem, maybe aware of the solution, but they are still in the information gathering mode. The third tier is the problem aware, the 20% that they are just problem aware and maybe they are not uh, uh, yet uh, solution aware or product aware. And the, f and the last one, but at least the 60%, which is the majority, is the people who are not even problem aware. And that's where uh, the, 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 the possibility to make more income is, uh, is possible, but also it comes with the, the process of uh, of necessity of educating this 
this tier because people who are not even aware of the problem you need to take them through a, 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 a series of educational material just to get them to a point where they understand what is the problem then give them the uh, the the, uh, the product or the solution and for that that's why uh, marketers like uh, uh, Steven Larson who I love he speaks a lot about the red market and the blue market, the blue market, the blue red ocean and the blue ocean, and uh, why is it important not to go and fish and sell to the to the to the blue ocean? You don't need to create a blue ocean. You need to go to the red ocean, create your blue ocean from the red ocean. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. If I confuse you, we will be diving into it in more details. Now, we understand the distribution of every single market is getting this way now Russell Brunson he goes one step further and he describes the 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 the, 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 the psychology of any market as being divided into three levels so he named it awareness continuum and he says that there is a, there is people who are product aware there is people who are desire aware and these people who are problem aware so uh, uh, and that's why when we build our campaign we need to be able to differentiate and that's why we use uh, many tools like email marketing so we can transcend people and transcend our audience from one level to the next one to the next one and finally give them the offer and give them the product now we need to understand also that in, in any market there is three levels there is the hot and there's the warm market and there's the cold so as Russell Branson says the hot market is people who already know you who already buy from you who already are very familiar with what you do or what you have and there is no need to uh, introduce yourself or to do some sort of educational marketing the second one is warm markets who are people who are maybe uh, aware of your presence through another person or through another marketers and the cold markets who are people who are completely unaware of any of uh, no product no solution no problem they are completely unaware of anything so with that being said we need to move on to the next level let me just take this out of my way I don't know, I bought this board and for whatever reason it kind of sticks so I need to get always get it wet. So the next thing that we need to understand in, in digital marketing, now we understand that there is a market and what is the distribution of any market. Now we need to understand how we're gonna actually speak to each single market and how we're gonna transcend and move people from one level to the next one. In order to do that, there is something called the customer journey map. And the customer journey map is basically, <clears throat> it's a virtual or visual uh, tool that marketers use in order to, uh, to assess their relationship with their market. It's basically the marketer use this, uh, this journey in order to have some uh, parameters based on which they can talk and based on which they can build their campaign. So the customer journey map, there is a million customer journey map. Uh, there is some they divide it into 12, some divide it into 8. I like the one that is divided into 5. It's more concise and it makes more sense. So there is pretty much 5 level of customer journey map. So once a person meets or get to know you, he automatically has to go through this level, through these phases, in order to become a real customer and maybe stay loyal. So how it works, the first, the first stage is the awareness stage. The second is the consideration. the engagement uh, conversion and loyalty so every single stage is extremely important not only because it allows us to move the person to the next one but also because it helps us uh, uh, 
target people and speak to people based on where they are in the customer journey. So, for example, you are not going to speak to somebody who already purchased from you and who already become a customer the same way you're going to speak to somebody who is not even aware of your presence. That's why it is important to respect and to have always in the back of your mind the fact that there is a customer journey map that every single person has to go through in order to get to the point to become either a uh, customer buy, convert and buy or be eventually become a lawyer. Once we understand that, then we are able to execute on building a funnel and here why we has everything happened. So the transformation in the next question that you may ask me, okay, well, this is fine. We understand that there is a customer journey map, but how are we going to implement this customer journey map? And here where the funnel happens to come and to build that, uh, that uh, role that is extremely important. So what is a funnel? A funnel is basically a set of stages that uh, a person needs to go through in order to get to a point of purchase. Generally speaking, not generally speaking, 99.99% it needs to solve one single issue. It needs to solve one single pain. That's the, that's the purpose of a funnel. And the funnel has, uh, can be uh, described uh, in a way like this. So you have an ad, a Facebook ad for example, since everything now is happening on Facebook. So you have a Facebook ad, then you have your lead magnet, then you have your core offer, then you have your upsell, then you have your downsell, uh, one time offer is known in the community as OTO, then the thank you page. So this is basically a classic funnel. That's what uh, uh, Russell Brunson came up with and it's uh, revolutionized how business is done uh, uh, in an unprecedented way. Generally speaking, this funnel is extremely important to be that way. It's extremely important to have many level in one single funnel. Why? Because it's simple because you have the chance you acquire the chance of getting more sales by having the core offer that if people do not buy, then they move to the upsell. There is always a percentage of people who, if they don't buy from the core offer, they will buy from the upsell. Then if they don't buy the upsell, then they buy from the, the article of the downsell. Then if they don't buy the downsell, then they buy the one-time offer. Understand that you can add as many upsell as you want. You can add as many upsells as you want and you can add as many uh, downsells as you want. So the more you add, the better chances you have of making money. And uh, that's why there is only two elements that are important to understand. In uh, mathematically speaking, once you build your, your, your campaign in Facebook and you have it ready and you already launch it, there is only two metrics that are important. There is the customer per acquisition and the cart value. The cart value, huh? cart value. So why the, 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 the customer per acquisition and the cart value? It is simply because you only need to understand how much cost you to acquire a customer and the cart value, you only need to know what is the average of the total cost of your funnel. Once you have a total cost uh, average of the cost of your funnel, then it, if, it's, if it's greater, the card value needs to be greater than the cost per acquisition, then you are in a good hand because there is always a certain percentage of people that they will move on and make you profits eventually on your funnel. And that's why it is important to, uh, to have a funnel that is literally has many options where people have possibility to buy many things rather than just one or single product. So this, oh, so this in a, in a nutshell, that's how it works. So we understand now that there is a market that is distributed into many levels, 
we understand that there is a continuum awareness of people of your markets that they need to go through in order to become a customer and to become familiar with what you sell and we understand also that there is a customer journey map that every single person needs to go through in order to uh, to be uh, promoted and to move to the next level once everything is done once you you have all this perspective in the back of your mind then you can build your funnel in a better with a better much better perspective so with that let me just move on to the next step so what is the next step we will be talking about now is the list building now you're going to ask me how are you going to concretize everything and make everything possible through what you just showed us well it's very simple it's really 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 simple awareness Consideration, engagement, conversion, all this is. It is extremely simple. Now, we just saw how we're gonna build a funnel. Now, we need to know something that a, a, a funnel, the a key element in any funnel is what is called lead magnet or tripwire, as others like to call it, but the, the, the name is not really important. The, the, the understanding of what is important. So a lead magnet is generally speaking something of value, something extremely sexy that you are giving the market for free, completely for free and in returns they will give you their name and email. Once you have that name or email, so let's see for example you have a Facebook ad and you have your copywriting here and everything then people click then they move to the lead magnets because here you, you describe your lead magnet and here you give them the lead magnet they click then they move on and they get and they get the pdf or the the video series or the cheat sheet or anything like that and then from here they will this they will be automatically entered into an autoresponder where they will be uh, they will have a following sequence, a nurturing following sequence. So here is the following sequence. And from there, it just go, we, we, we can continue with the rest of the funnel, but for what we talk about, for the list building, that's what's important for right now. So consider that once a person gets a lead magnet, then automatically we give him something for, for something of value that will solve the pain of the industry that you are in. Once they give you their name and email address, then we'll be able to, uh, uh, to start doing the follow-up sequence with them and start indoctrinating them into what we do and how we do it. And the indoctrinating uh, process is really amazing because that's what uh, allow us uh, we just mentioned in the uh, earlier in the customer journey map that's what allow us to move people through the stages and allow them to become more familiar with what we do and eventually become a customer and a raving fan so this is the process that's generally happened and that's the new way of doing the uh, sell or online so this is extremely important not only because the uh, we 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 get uh, email addresses literally for free because you give it away something that didn't cost you nothing it's just something of uh, uh, infopreneur it's just something an information uh, based value you give it in for free and you get in that email address and you build in that list and eventually you start uh, promoting and selling to that list not only I'm not, I don't, I'm not selling, I'm not telling you to sell, to only sell because that's the wrong way of doing it. The best way of doing it is by giving value, by, by building that thirst for value. So uh, if you are in a, let's say, in a losing weight uh, uh, industry, then giving, giving uh, every day or every single or every other day new information of how to lose weight or, or the, uh, what are the nutrients that help to lose weight or then within certain period every five to uh, seven days then you can give an offer. 
It has to be built up, not just sell, 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 sell. People will lose faith on you and will let you go. They will not even open your email. Your email. So it is very important that your indoctrination process is built based on value, not based on just selling and giving people uh, uh, offers that they they may or they may not necessarily need at that specific moment. So that's why the indoctrination process has to be uh, uh, for the long run and you have to build that uh, customer base. The more you build a uh, relationship, the more you build, uh, people start acknowledging you. And we all know that the any relationship in sales now is built on three factors. The, the like, know and trust factor. The, uh, so it is extremely important that we respect those elements in order to start making uh, some good, uh, maybe profits down the road, if we do it right. Now, all what this allows us is basically helping us become independent. How? Well, there is a, something called, I don't remember who says that, but says somebody says that we are creating our own economy by having a list. So once you build a list that is uh, that is dedicated to you, that knows you, that likes you and trusts you and respects what you do, then uh, you literally create your own economy. And this is not figurative, this is literally uh, the case because you do not need any other elements in the market to help you it doesn't matter what the market outside is doing. What matters is your relationship with your audience. If the relationship is built right and if there is value that is provided ahead of the time, then uh, the, 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 the sky is the limit. So that's the idea. Now that we understand this, we need to understand the next element in the uh, funnel, which is... Ta -da -da. I need some drum beats. Well, you have to wait. The next element, my friend, is the value letter. The value letter. Why the value letter? Well, the value letter, the value letter comes to complete this whole thing and allow you, we met, as we mentioned in the funnel, how we can offer the core offer, the upsell, the downsell, and anything else, and the one-time offer. So the value letter is extremely important uh, principle in marketing that you need to be aware of in order, if you want to really make a, a profit in this business. So how does it work, a value letter? Let's take an example. So uh, McDonald's, for example, McDonald's costs them a dollar ninety-eight cents just to bring somebody, a client, to the store. Dollar ninety-eight cents. Where is the profit? Is there? Then where is it gonna be the profit? Well, it's very simple. All their profit is based after they the customer comes and gets the the cheeseburger or whatever it is. So the, all their profit is in the soda, the, the, the orange juice, the uh, milkshake, the french fries. All this is their profit. And the dollar ninety-eight cents is just what they pay to advertise to make that customer come. So same thing with uh, in digital marketing at a personal level, not at a corporate level, we need to be aware of the, the, the value ladder and it is extremely important if you own a business that you can uh, take advantage of the value ladder and be fully aware of the value ladder. Uh, I, I do uh, digital marketing for Dennis and uh, uh, here is a value ladder for uh, Dennis how it looks like. So you bring here, so you, you bring a customer here, and you have in here, you bring somebody for a clean teeth whitening for free. You give teeth whitening, 
teeth right now. I'm losing it. I don't even know how to write teeth. So you bring people for teeth whitening, then you assess their need, and based on their need, what you see fit for them, then you take them on a value ladder. So once you give them their teeth whitening, then you may see there is a cavity, then you ask them, oh, by the way, you have a small cavity here, so here we go, you can do the cavity. Then you move on to the next level, then you may notice that they have some sort of problem with their big tooth, then you give it to them and tell them, okay, you're gonna have to come back next week. At the end of the day, with one single customer, it is basically optimizing and maximizing the return on investment on each single uh, client that you may encounter. So that's how you not only sell, but also you increase the chances of profit in one single transaction. This is extremely important because you not only uh, make your money worth the investments that you put into the advertising, but also you are able to capitalize on all the need that the specific customer has, and you give him and you give him or you give her everything they need. So with that being said, I will stop right here and I will make another video. If you like it, please follow up the next video. It will talk about the metrics on click on on uh, on Facebook and what's important. Uh, metrics to look after and how it's important how you can uh, make your campaign profitable with that being said have a great day and uh, please click the link below and subscribe to our facebook group have a great day bye